It is my pleasure to introduce you to the ninth director of the Toledo Museum of Art, Brian Kennedy. If you'd join me at the podium. Brian. truly delighted to be here. I really do want to thank Betsy Brady and the board and George Chapman and the search committee and Rod Bigelow and Carol Putney for all the work done that has allowed me to come into a museum which I know is in terrific shape. And to be in this room, I just sat there and I've looked at the greatest Rubens in America. And you know, Rubens was probably one of the earliest artists to get into what you might call factory production. He was actually the first millionaire artist multilinguist and great traveler, but this painting is all Rubens. And just looking at that frothy, delicious painting as I sat there, and knowing that it would be behind me when I spoke to you just thrilled me. This is a knock your socks off collection. It really is. And I came here a few years ago having known about Toledo, especially when I worked at the National Gallery of Ireland and exhibitions that we sent, particularly old master paintings to around the world and see Toledo there all the time. And then I came a few years ago with the art museum directors on a visit, and I went home and told Mary, my goodness, Toledo. Three buildings in a row. Superlative, sophisticated, elegant, and this collection just quite simply, work for work, of truly international significance. I knew it was world class, but it's just how. It just fills me with joy. And if you get as excited as I do by works of art, this is a great place to be. Works of art are made by artists. Museums contain works of art. The art is in the artists. The art is in Rubens. I like working with artists. And being part of your time is so important as a museum director. And Toledo, it seems to me, it's just an energy, it's a feeling that I have. From the first meeting that I had with the search committee, there's a warmth and a determination that this city, as it was at the time that Mr. Libby and Mrs. Libby had this thought in the eye of their mind to create what has become this great museum, that this city can do great things in the world. I really believe that. And the Toledo Museum of Art can be a leader with it. Mr. Libby talked about the importance of the memory of the past, thinking about the needs and conditions of the present, and the need for mutual understanding in the future. Art museums are the great example of taking the product of the greatest creative minds visually into a setting where we can understand what it is that leads us all together. You know, I, I have dealt a lot with academics over the last five years. It is really interesting that we as human beings have 99.9% .9 of the DNA of chimpanzees. <laughs> Think of just that tiny little bit of difference that causes a painting like this to be made. The art world and the world of museums is a bath in aspiration of the greatest things that we can do. And to be in a place like Toledo, surrounded by such beauty, it uh, gives me great, great joy. Uh, I do know that we will be very happy here. Already, the people that have met, the warmth from the very first person I met this morning, who ran out and said, I've just been reading about you in the paper. I was pleased, because obviously people do read papers. That's good. <laughs> read papers and go on the internet and find out what's going on in the world. We're becoming so connected. And it thrills me that a place that is founded on education, that does such extraordinary work with K through 12 programs, that has on its site a center for the visual art connected to university, that's founded on scholarship and on great choices of artworks, can be a place where I can work now. I'm truly honored I'm really delighted uh, to be here with you in Toledo, uh, and I'm very happy to take any questions uh, from you all. Thank you so much for this privilege.